Hi guys, it's McKenna and guess what? Another change of scenery. So I've been wanting to do this video for a while now and I've never really had a reason to do it but I have a reason finally. I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow as I'm filming this and I won't have all of this hair to mess around with. So that's why I'm doing it today. So from the title, you probably already know what I'm doing, but today I'm going to be recreating styles from YA covers. Like, not specifically YA covers, but since I read mostly YA, it's probably mostly gonna be YA. But like I said, I have this long mass of hair that I can mess around with, so I'm gonna do that. The reason I chose this specific location is because I have a mirror right behind me. So if you see me looking up in like that direction, it's because I'm looking in the mirror to make sure I don't mess everything up. But without further ado, let's get into it. I'm just gonna start off by brushing my hair quick. Because you know, I never do that. Also, I apologize for the lighting because it's not light out yet, and this is the only chance I have to film this. I'm gonna go see if I can dial the like settings down a little bit, like mood lighting so it looks a little better. That doesn't look any better, but. So I've got my weird part going on. Let's fix that. And guess what? We've got our first style. Just down. A lot of book covers have girls that their hair is just down, so I think this counts. But next, we're gonna do one of my faves. We're gonna start with two of my faves, I think, but we're gonna do Leah on the Offbeat first. I've done this one before because I do it a lot, because I really like this hairstyle. But we're gonna do it on camera. Now's as good a time as any to mention this is not a tutorial. This is me crappily doing a bunch of hairstyles um, as a memoriam to my hair. So, if you came here for an actual helpful video, probably don't want to be on this channel. As you can see, my hair looks like the poop emoji. That's how much of it I have. So, I'm going to take this out. And I'm going to do Lady's Guide next. For the Lady's Guide, there are a bunch of um, artfully, strategically done down strands in the updo. So I'm going to work on those first. Just see how, like, it doesn't look like a messier hairstyle. Because I don't think she cares. Which is weird. Because, like, all through the book, she's doing braids and not this, like, mess of hair on her head. So why? I am Felicity um, Montague from the Ladies Guide cover. Let me recreate it and we can see who wore it better. Who wore it better? Let me know down in the comments. Give me a, give me a rating. That's what we're gonna do. I don't have any self-worth. But I actually really like this hairstyle. After I'm done with this, this is what I might go back to, because I have school today, after this. So. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Next, we're going to venture um, 
into a story that I didn't quite like, but I'm excited for the movie. Um, because they just announced that they're doing a second one, uh, which is Twelve the Woods I've Loved Before. On the second cover, she has a ponytail. So, we're gonna do a basic ponytail. Like I said, it took a lot more time than it should. But since Lara Jean on the cover has a little ribbon tied in hers, and I don't have ribbon, I brought a scrunchie. So I'm just gonna put that over it, cause you know, the scrunchies don't hold my hair. Cause on top of it being long, it's like super thick. So. There. It looks nothing like the cover, but. Also, at the time I'm filming this, they just announced that they're going to make a sequel to the 12 Boys I've Loved Before movie on Netflix. I'm excited about that because that was one of the instances that I actually liked the movie better than the book. Mostly because I had some big qualms with the book and like it was changed in the movie. Like, you can go watch my Unpopular Opinions book tag for that. I'll link it down below because I get into it more in there. But like I'm so excited about it. Because they did the movie so well, I'm just really excited for the sequel. <sighs> I need to stop blubbering on. Next hairstyle. So the next hairstyle I'm going to be doing is a direct variant of this. And it's funny I said variant because it's The Valiant by Leslie Livingston. This is one that I haven't read yet, but basically all she has on the cover is a ponytail with a braid. And I can do a ponytail with the braid. I have the ponytail. It's just the braid time. So, I'm on braid. You saw that not just ripped apart. The one that I had is very Boom. Let's pull it apart a little bit and see if that works better. That's kind of how it looks, I think. She's just like... Her hair is kind of like this and she's just standing and looking down. Like, who wore it better? So I'm going to take this out and then I'm going to do A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray because that's another one that's probably going to be pretty easy. So I'm taking out. And that's Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. I had to get something Libba Bray in here because I couldn't do the diviners because there are no hairstyles on the diviners except for the like UK or Australian editions where there's the one girl with the bob and I don't have a bob. I don't have a bob wig so I couldn't. So I had to put this in because Libba Bray. Next, I'm gonna do Moxie by Jennifer Matu. Um, another easy one. Let me, let me show you. Boom. It's basically just a low pony. Um, this is a weird thing that my hair does sometimes, so... It adds texture, I guess, but 
The person on the cover of Moxie kind of has sideswept bangs, and I obviously do not. So we're just gonna do this and be like, that's the same ish. Even though I just destroyed this hairstyle. And for my grand finale of torturing myself, I'm going to do the hairstyle off of the cover of Dread Nation by Justina Ireland. Basically, all that it is is two Dutch braids, so this should be fine. <sighs> Famous last words. But this is just going to be a time consuming process, so let's get started. That's one down, one to go, so I'm gonna do a true beauty guru and do the other one off camera. So I'll see you when that's done. I'm back and the other braid is done. So this is the Dread Nation look. And I think this is the perfect one to end the video on because I'm not taking these out now that they're done. Let me know how I did down in the comments below and leave any suggestions for anything else you'd like to see. Make sure to also like and subscribe and I will see you sometime for a new video. Bye!